the greatest, you could be the best, you could be the King Kong banging from the chest, you could beat the world, you could beat the war, you could talk to God, go banging on his door, and you can throw your hands up, you could beat the clock, you could move a mountain, you could break rocks, you could be the master, don't wait for luck, dedicate yourself and you might find yourself standing in the hall of fame. the distance you could run a mile you could walk straight through congratulations to all working with you has been a very nice pleasure i wish you all the best in your retirement and it's really finally happening i've heard you say it for several years so i'm very proud of you you did a wonderful job with our students and i wish you the best in your retirement Kamal, i i when Marcus first asked me to speak, I wasn't even really sure if I was going to, because it's so hard to come up with words to say what you truly mean to me. Um, you hired me. I still vividly remember that that first interview in your office. Um, you've inspired me. Although I've gone on to these institutes like Buttermer to, to read about what it's, it means to be LaSallian, I did, almost didn't have to go, because you are the definition of LaSallian. I thank you for, for all your guidance and mentorship over the years. Um, 13, 15 years ago, I forget exactly when, when I was still at St. Benedict's, I was their nominee for Heart of the School Award. Um, and I didn't win on the Archdiocese level because I lost to another individual. I, I lost to you. Um, at the time, I was like, oh, I thought I should get the award. But once I met you, I realized, no, you, you were the heart of the school. You were the heart of the Archdiocese of Chicago. Um, you, you will have a special place in my heart, and I thank you so much. I truly hope our friendship continues in the future. Uh, God bless. Hi, Mr. Kazan, uh, Louis Guido, class of 1989. Uh, my fondest memory is my mom. My mom recently passed away in December of 2012. But they said at the retirement party, somebody brought up how you told them to take care of their mother. You also told me to take care of my mom. My mom had Alzheimer's for 12 years, and I took care of her for the 12 years that she was alive. I put most of my life to the side and uh, just focused on her, and uh, she always sp spoke fondly of you, always thought of you, um, always said, how's Mr. Kazan? So I just want to say thank you for giving me the inspiration to do what was right, and even though I put certain selfish things to the side, I feel I did what's right and took care of my mom to her passing day, so thank you very much for your inspiration. Love always. Mr. Kazan, Frank Barber, class of 1981. Uh, one of my fondest memories was when you made James Gentile stand in front of class and laugh continuously for 45 minutes. He sat there in class, ha, 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 45 minutes straight. You're a great teacher. Uh, math and science wasn't my forte. I wound up going to law school instead. But I remember your kindness. Um, and we were a bunch of rough kids. And thanks for keeping us in line, even though uh, maybe you know we deserved a little more, a little more structure than what you gave us. So again, thanks so much. Congratulations on 47 years and happy retirement.
distance and up until now I have sworn to myself that I'm content with loneliness because none of it was ever worth the risk and you are the only exception you are the only exception you tight grip on reality but I can't let go of what's in front of me here I know you're leaving in the 